this one here, keep the body straight, don't set the hips and engage the core. Squeeze the glutes as well. Let's go. Okay, next exercise we'll be doing is a Russian twist. On this one here, you'll be basically doing 30 and also uh, two sets for this one, moderate pace. So for this one as well, I want you to keep the back straight, make sure the core is engaged and uh, ensure the twist is uh, a full twist. Let's keep going. Right, last exercise for the core is leg raises. So here I need you to keep your lower back pressed down as you lift your legs up and down. You need to control both. So for this one here, you'll be doing 12 to 15 per set, and you'll be doing three sets at a moderate intensity. Let's give it a go. Keep the lower back pressed. Okay. All right, this next one is now speed and agility as we move on. So for this one here, you're going to do a 20 meter sprint and you're going to do 6 to 8 of them at a high intensity. So I need you to explode off the line, focus on driving low and through the ground and obviously keep, your, keep the intensity at the pace. Let's go. I'm going to count you down. 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, next exercise we'll be doing is an agility ladder drill. Right, so for this one here, there's obviously various sets we can do or different activities we can do for each one here. But for now, we're going to basically do a simple one where you're going to step one, two on each, each ladder as you move up, right? So for this one here, you just need to stay light on your feet, but maintain control obviously and remember the process. And let's not miss it. So here also, it's uh, basically three to four sets of the different variations. Let's go. So this one here, we'll move on to the next section, which is endurance. Right? It's broken up into two parts. So the first part will be interval sprints. Right? So for this one here, you're going to be doing one minute sprints at a high intensity, and it's going to be going for at least four to five sprints. Four to five, yeah. Um, so yeah, as we do the treadmill, basically I want you to uh, lean slightly forward, ensure that your running motion is good. Right, for the last exercise, the last activity of the endurance one, you'll be doing a long distance run. Also, we'll be using the treadmill as well. So for this one here, also you just basically keep it a general, uh, general steady run, right? You'll be going for 20 to 30 minutes, and again, it's to build the endurance. Right, now the training session is done basically, we'll be doing a pull down. So for this year, you'll be uh, doing some static stretches. For the first one, I want you to do a hamstring stretch by touching your toes, keeping the legs straight. Hold the steps for 20 to 25 seconds. <laughs> Next one will do a quad and hip stretch. So here also I want you to lean into the stretch as well. Focus on not overextending the hip or hamstring or even the glute for that matter. And hold the stretch for 20 to 25 seconds. Right, next one will be a calf stretch. Yeah, as you go down, I want your heels to try and touch the floor. Right, and focus on the calves. Make sure that you don't over stretch as well and hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Please. Right, another stretch also I want you to do is the child's pose. So for this one here, put your arms, in, arms out in front of you. As you bend down, try and get the forehead to the floor and the hips need to hinge as well. Right, now we'll focus on some upper body stretching, static stretching. So for the first one, I want you to do a tricep stretch. Bring the elbow over here next to your ear and bring the left arm over to pull the elbow towards your head. And show you that the tricep stretches. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Next stretch we'll be doing is a shoulder stretch. So for this one here, I want you to take the right arm, bring it across the body. Hold it over with the left arm as you try and stretch the shoulder. Make sure that you can scapula also is stretched as well. 
So you can bring it closer to the elbow. Yeah. Okay, final stretch we'll be doing is a chest stretch. So for this one here, I want you to put your arm against the bar and push outwards to ensure that the chest is very stretched. Also, I want you to hold it for 20 seconds.